Okay, here we go. So, what are we doing? Solving for coefficients in a quadratic. Uh, and we're going to use calculus during this, of course, because we're doing the calculus unit. So let's look at a problem. Okay, so here's the question. And so I've got a curve, and I don't know the coefficients of b and c. Now, for this question, as usual, a quadratic has um, a coefficient in front of the x squared, usually a. This one doesn't have that, so the, the assumption I'm going to make, we are going to make with this problem, is that a equals 1, because they don't give us a coefficient there. So that's, that's the first thing. Okay, so it has a tangent at y equals 4. Tangent passes through this point. Find f of x, which means, which means find the values of b and c and then rewrite the equation. So here's my thought process on this, and maybe, maybe yours could be different. First up, I just, I kind of, I drew a little picture, and I said, okay, um, there's y and there's x, or if you want to make that f of x, you can, it doesn't really matter, and what I did was I just drew the tangent line at y equals 4, that means it's a horizontal line, it's a horizontal line right through 4, okay, so the, that's the tangent line that hits the curve at one point. And then what I said, it says if the tangent passes through negative 3, 4, well, that means that negative 3, 4 has to be a turning point. So, so here's, here's negative 3, okay, and so if that's a tangent, it's either going to have a turning point as a maximum or a minimum, but since there's no coefficient there, I'm going to assume that a equals 1. So if, if a equals 1, then, then I've got some parabola that's just sitting right on that tangent line at y equals 4. So the, the first thing I'm going to say is like a bullet point. This, this must mean, this must mean that negative 3, 4 is a turning point. So what I did next is I went, okay, so if that's a turning point, if that's a turning point there, that must mean, that must mean that uh, at x equals negative 3, uh, at, at, at x equals negative 3, that gradient is going to be 0, because that's the definition of a, of a max or a min or a turning point. At x equals negative 3, the derivative of that is zero. So f dash negative three equals zero. Okay? And that, that's just the, the basics of the gradient being zero at a turning point, and that's my gradient equation. So of course naturally what I'm going to do next is just differentiate uh, this this equation up here. So I'm going to say okay. All right, and I differentiate x squared, uh, differentiates to 2x, and bx differentiates to just plus b, and that c differentiates to 0, so I don't need to put anything in there right away. So, next step is using this information at x equals negative 3 the gradient is 0 at x equals negative 3 the gradient is 0 flat horizontal line um, what do I write I say okay I'm gonna I'm gonna swap this equation around so I'm gonna say when x equals negative 3 this equals 0 when x when that equals negative 3 this equals 0 so 2 times negative 3 plus b that's going to equal zero. So my first step, I can solve for that b coefficient right here. All right, Substitute that in there. I get negative 6 plus b equals 0. So b must equal positive 6. All right, so what's next? Well, now I want to solve for c. I've got b. It's going to be 6. So now I'm going to solve for c. And how did I do that? I said, well, you know, the, if, if they give me this point, what does this point mean? This point means um, this point means that f of negative 3 
equals 4. That's what, that's what that point means. So now, I can substitute all of these values in. There's, there's x, there's b, and I can substitute all, oh, and 4 is going to be f of x. I can substitute all those values in to get c, to get that constant. So I'm going to say substitute, substitute, substitute to get c. And I go, okay, well, um, f of x is 4. I'm substituting it into this equation here. I'll just, I'll just write it out again. x squared plus bx plus c. f of x is 4. x is negative 3. So negative 3 squared plus b I just solved. That's 6. Yep. x is negative 3, like we said. And just like we do a lot of times in calculus, we have everything we need to solve for that constant of integration. Okay? And so I simplify all of this number stuff here. 9, I think it's 9 minus 18, and I get negative 9 plus C. And so I can add 9 to the other side, and I get 13. And right there, we've done a lot of work so far. Well, so they wanted f of x, so that means f of x is going to equal x squared, solve for that coefficient, 6x plus 13.